Hi everybody, this is Vicki Fisher again from the Lorraine Digital Academy. I'm the English language arts coach and we've been working on our writing in the videos that we've been posting onto our website. We started with simple sentences and we worked our way into a simple paragraph. Now we're going to be moving up to the three paragraph essay because as you know for your end of course exams and if those of you are still taking your OGTs you know that you have to do some extended writing and minimally some of these extended writings need to be answered with a three paragraph essay or perhaps even a five paragraph essay. Today we're only only going to look at the three paragraph essay we're going to save the five paragraph essay for next time. Also, in my last video, I introduced you to the testing portal where you can practice the test and you can also look at those writing samples. And I, again, I encourage you to go to the testing portal and to look at those five paragraph essays, especially for English 2. If you are an English 2 student, you will have that kind of extended writing to do. You need to look at what gains a 10-point essay, what will give you an 8-point essay, and so forth. The rubric is also included in the testing portal um, items, so please make sure you check that out so you know what they're looking for in terms of grammar, style, and the evidence that you have to provide in those essays. Today we're not going to be looking so much at evidence. We're just going to be doing more uh, narrative types of writing just so you get the feel and the practice for putting together a three paragraph essay. Remember in the past when we did the one paragraph essay we did the wheel and the spokes to organize our thoughts. Well, the three paragraph essay is essentially the same, except now you're going to have three wheels. One will be the introduction, one will be the body, and one will be the conclusion. Those are your three paragraphs. In this particular essay, we're taking a look at a topic, and the topic is about spare time. What do you do with your spare time? So in the introductory paragraph, we're going to look at how we're going to hook our audience with a good sentence that makes them interested in reading our paragraph. We're going to define what spare time is, and we're going to look at how we've used spare time perhaps in the past. In the body of the paragraph, we're going to go in order of what we would do if we had spare time. We're going to use order words like first, second, and third. And finally, in our conclusion, we're going to do a little bit of dreaming with our spare time. We're going to think beyond what, were, what would be more exciting things I could do if I had or if I used my spare time differently with if-then sentences. And again, we have to uh, give thanks and um, honor Jan Cosner. She is the creator of the Spoke and Wheel Organization of Writing. And again, it is a beautiful way of organizing our thoughts. This is called formula writing, and it works very well, especially for the OGTs, if you're still taking those, and it will also work for the end of course. Again, the only difference today in today's writing is that we're not going to um, cite evidence from a source, but we can practice that or review that again from next week's video. So here's my three wheels and spokes representing my three paragraphs for the topic, spare time. What do I do with spare time? What could I do with my spare time? Let's take a look now as I start to put my details down with my wheels and spokes. So in my introduction with my spare time, again, I talk 
about maybe with my hook, letting myself loose and finding myself. When I define spare time, it's extra time. And it's what I want to do with that spare time. And years ago, spare time was about doing chores. In the body of my essay, I talk about activities now that I can do with spare time. Jan Cosner um, used to be a big disco dancer. She loved to disco dance. So that was something she put down that she liked to do in her spare time. She was also a reader, a great reader. So she liked to read novels on hot beaches on her vacation time. And another thing Jan did was she wrote all these books. She wrote books on formula writing. She wrote vocabulary books. And she was a terrific writer. So this is something that she also would do in her spare time, is writing books. The conclusion, though, is a really neat way to now do a little bit of dreaming or creative writing. This would be the if types of statements that would um, let the readers know what you would really like to do with your spare time if you could. So Jan talks about winning those disco contests so she could be a disco queen or re reading or writing a novel rather um, because reading takes her away and maybe who knows she could fall in love. And finally, she wants to be a better writer and inspire others. And this might make her a bestseller with her books. So putting all of her thoughts together now, all of her details from her wheels and her spokes, this is what her three-paragraph essay looks like. See if you think it has a good hook or introduction in the first paragraph. Think about how she talks about her activities of spare time in the second paragraph. And then finally, listen to that wonderful conclusion at the end. Look at the kinds of language that Jan is using. It's very creative, and it really does put pictures in your mind as you read. And that's what you also want in a good narrative essay. Spare time is a time to get some chores done and possibly have some fun. It is often in my free time that I let loose and find myself. Spare time is extra time that I find in my day and I do what I want. Years ago, people did not have much spare time because they were so busy with the chores in their daily life. Hopefully, I will have more free time in my life to free my spirit and find myself. Notice in this first paragraph, again, uh, back in the first video when we talked about different kinds of sentences, and we talked about uh, complex and compound sentences, and how we have those joiners or those coordinating conjunctions like and and because, because they hook our thoughts together with independent and dependent clauses and make our sentences more rich and more full. And Jan does a good job of doing that with her sentences. Here's the second paragraph. I divide my spare time into my three favorite activities. First, I love to disco dance every Friday and I boogie down at the Marriott. Second, I like to read romance novels on a hot beach, and I go to Lake Chautauqua. Third, I spend some time writing a creative book because writing and creativity is fun. Participating in these three delightful activities relaxes me. And now we're on to the part of her essay where she gets to do a little bit of dreaming. In conclusion, extra time is wonderful to fulfill dreams and expectations. If I continue to disco dance, I could win contests and be crowned a disco queen. Reading romance novels will take me away to exotic lands, and 
I could fall in love with the perfect man of my dreams. Writing a creative book will hopefully inspire others to be creative and will become a bestseller. Spare time recharges and re-energizes me. So there you have a three-paragraph essay. Again, it was created with the use of formula writing with wheels and spokes to get our thoughts organized. Now, we'll take a look at one more sample of a three-paragraph essay. This time, I created one for the video. And I found some topics in one of Jan's books that are really fun. They would be fun topics to write about. And so we're going to post those on our website. So if you need some ideas as topics to practice your three paragraph essays, you can simply visit the website and you'll have plenty of ideas to choose from. One of the topics is called the necklace of life. And if you were an artist and you had to sketch a necklace of your life, what would it look like? What would it be? What would it have? So here's my introduction for the first paragraph of my three paragraph essay. So obviously these are the symbols of the necklace and the hook is what I believe and what I love and the definition of the symbols of the necklace of my life are things that are important and unique to my life and then in the past, I talk about how my friends and how my family also have the same values that are reflected in my necklace. In the body of my essay, the second paragraph, I talk about the actual symbols and their meanings. So one symbol that would be on my necklace of life would be a frying pan because I love to cook and I love to feed people. The second symbol would be a music note because to me, it, music is like medicine to the soul. And finally, my third symbol would be a book, because like Jan, I love to read and I love to write. And to me, a book is gaining knowledge and feeding your imagination. And those are good things to do. And finally, in my conclusion, I did a little bit of dreaming too. Like if I took my cooking to another level, maybe I could open a little cafe. Or I like singing so much that sometimes I think it would be fun to be in a band. And like Jan, if I could write some more, then maybe someday I could too write a book. And that is really a dream that I have. So now I'm going to take my introduction and body and conclusion, my spokes, and now I'm going to going to put them together in my three essay pair in my three essay um, my three paragraph essay that is so again there's my introduction my body and my conclusion and when I put it together it sounds like this the symbols in the necklace of my life would tell the world what I believe in and what I love to do these symbols would be important to me and have a unique meaning attached to them that apply to me all of my symbols are a reflection of me, and they are also valued by my family and friends. They might look like ordinary objects, but in my dreams, they are the key to a future life that could yield new adventures and fun. My first symbol would be a frying pan, because I love to cook and bake and to feed the people in my life at my dining room table. My pantry is always filled with ingredients and new recipes to try. My second symbol would be a music note because I listen to all styles of music and I even sing in a choir. Music is good medicine for my soul. Symbol number three would be a book because I believe reading is knowledge and knowledge is power. Beyond knowledge, reading also lets me use my imagination and takes me to places in my mind. And you'll notice too students that I too am extending my sentences with those coordinating conjunctions with words like and and because and again those make for more uh, deep and uh, rich sentences. Here's my concluding paragraph where I get to do a little bit of dreaming. In conclusion, my necklace of life would tell three important aspects of my current life 
that have been shaped by family, friends, and myself. Sometimes I think I could take my cooking talents and open up a little cafe. At other times, I think it would be so much fun to sing in a rock band with an audience that is clapping and dancing to the music. And if I make the time in my life, then I could let my creative juices flow and write my own book. Beyond these symbols, I have many more that I could add to the necklace of my life. As I mentioned before, we will post the topics to practice for three paragraph essays. These are from Jan Cosner's Formula Writing, and she has included actually all the subject areas. So you could take an idea for art, like I did for sketching that necklace of life, but there's also topics for business, um, consumer science, English, foreign language, health, and pretty much any kind of uh, subject that you would take in the secondary level. So I hope this has given you some ideas and again that framework of the wheels and spokes is so helpful for you to get out your uh, preliminary thoughts when you are beginning to uh, draft, even before you start drafting your ideas into rough paragraphs. Here's a way to really help you set that up so you are ready to go uh, when it's time for you, uh, either for your OGT or your end of course exam. I wish you all the best of luck and happy writing. Thank you very much and we'll see you next time for the five paragraph essay. <music>